Well, howdy folks, how's it going today? Hope everyone's doing really good and having a great day today. We got the old Pats caster back up on the bench here for uh, yet a couple more mods. Uh, this is a Pats caster I uh, kind of assembled a number of years ago and it's just been an ongoing project. I keep messing with it and tweaking it and modding it and all that kind of fun stuff. So, there's no sense to stop now. Uh, what we're going to do to it today, though, is uh, we're actually going to add two push-pull pots. And we're going to split these pickups. So, what we have here is a set of uh, vintage OBL hot rails from, oh, probably the late 70s, mid to late 70s. They're the 500 series. And they had the patent pending stickers on the back. Uh, they really do sound nice. Uh, these were acquired uh, from me doing some work on a guy's guitar. And that's what I ended up getting for payment. Uh, so I took them. And I've had them for a long, long time. And I decided to put them in a guitar. So this was the candidate. And it works quite well. Uh, so anyway, what we got here is just a three-way switch, normally where your five-way would be, just headed in the same direction. I really like it. It's easy. I don't have to try to find position two or four. I'm just, you know, it's easy to run. So what we're going to do, like I said, is add a push-pull pot to each one of the volume knobs. We have a volume for each pickup and a master tone. And these pickups are four-wire pickups, so we are able to split them. And that's where the push-pull pots come in. So basically, you got a regular potentiometer with a switch on the bottom of it. Uh, nothing too fancy about it. There, uh, here you go. Here's a there's a regular potentiometer. All right, you got your three lugs on it and that kind of thing. And here's a push pull potentiometer. So it's the same thing. You got your your, th your uh, pot with the three lugs, and then you have this big switch hanging down below it, okay? Like that. Same thing. It's just got a built in switch. All right? So those are actually separate from each other. The switch is uh, not run by turning the pot. It's only run by pulling up on the knob or pushing it down and activating the switch. So it's a pretty simple affair, really. Honestly, it's kind of discreet. You know, you don't know that the guitar has it until you pull up on the knob and you get all these crazy sounds. So anyway, that's the, uh, the roster for today that we're going to tackle. And uh, what we're going to have to do is pretty much take it apart. Uh, you have to take the neck off this one to get the pit guard off because the uh, neck hangs out over it. And that's just how it goes. So anyway, let's get to it. We'll start taking all this stuff apart and uh, get the pit guard off. And once we unbolt the neck, uh, I'm just going to swing it out of the way so I can work on the guitar and and uh, we'll just kind of leave it off to the side. And when we get done, we'll put it all back together. All right, let's get cracking. All right, so I'm going to get the knobs off it and get that stuff kind of loosened up here in a minute. And uh, I got to start a box or something to put my parts in. So I'm going to get that out right now. Okay, that'll do. Uh, let's see. I gotta get some wrenches out for those, but I think what we'll do for us is loosen the strings up and uh, get the neck unbolted and pull that off to the side. And uh, that should make our life a little bit easier. So here we go. We'll uh, loosen these up.
moving a little slow today if you haven't noticed uh, and I'm wearing this thing here to kind of help my hand out uh, I've been kind of taking it easy the past couple days and I am starting to regain some feeling in my fingers so that's really good I don't want to jinx it and uh, mess that all up so anyway uh, I think we'll flip this over now and pop the neck off it okay well we got the neck off uh, as you can see, I signed that when I first put it together in 2020. I'm not sure what this other writing is down here, but I'm not really sure what this body is either, to be honest with you. Whatever it is, it's got a beautiful finish on it, and they did a three-tone sunburst, so I'm not thinking it's a real cheap guitar right off the... Uh, off the top of my head here, but I don't really know. It could be an El Cheapo that somebody took the time to do a nice job on it. It's not new. It's it's definitely older. It's actually got some checking on it and all that too, so who knows. Anyway, let's get the pit guide off it and see what we're up against. Okay, folks, there's a good shot of the uh, the internals here. And as I said before, these are some old uh, patent pending Bill Lawrence pickups. And you can have it. Bill Lawrence USA Rhythm. And this one's not stamped Bill Lawrence, but it is uh, certainly the same pickup. So. We got to do some investigating here and trace down a few wires, and uh, we'll be unhooking these two potentiometers and uh, also tapping into the other wires on the pickups. Okay, well, <clears throat> I've decided to uh, actually just cut these wires, and I think it's going to be the easiest way for me to go about this. Um, I got some super glue on my cutters from the last job. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I think we're just going to cut these wires free and uh, we'll start over from scratch because all these wires that are connected to these two potentiometers are going to be removed in the long run. So uh, sometimes it's just easier to cut it out and uh, start with new. And that's not a big deal. We have plenty of pickup lead to to play with here. And it's just going to make life a lot easier laying the, uh, the new wiring out versus uh, trying to unsolder one wire from one pot and that kind of thing, okay? I do apologize for my hands being in the way, but it's just how it is, right? Okay, so we got the wires freed up here. Uh, next thing we'll do is just remove the uh, two potentiometers here. And probably be a good idea to uh, get the other ones installed in there. I don't see why we couldn't. It'll be just as easy to uh, solder them in place, I think, than, uh, than not. So... Um, Let's take the pots out, and uh, then we won't have to go through this step again. All right, so I'll take this one out. Now these pots are still good, so I'm not going to chuck them. I'm going to keep them and. I'll use them somewhere else, so I might as well put the uh, nuts and washers right back on them, and we won't lose them. Okay, so we'll set that one off to the side, and get this one out of here. This guitar really sounds great, it just... Uh, like I said, it just won't leave me alone every time I look at it. I 
come up with a new idea and uh, this is kind of my go-to guinea pig guitar I should say you know it's a Frankenstrat of many sorts but uh, it is a great guitar at the end of the day and it plays really great and sounds great and I don't have a lot invested in it which is always a plus too I guess so anyway <clears throat> now we've got two wide open holes and a bunch of loose ends <laughs> so what we'll do next is I'm going to install those two pots and just get them hooked up for now and uh, you know this isn't really a major video it's mostly just disassembly but it is part of the process and uh, you know like I said versus taking one wire off this pot and then soldering you know onto the new one and which is not a bad idea in some cases but it's really uh, not gonna help me in this situation so I think our next move right now is to uh, get these push pulls in there and the first thing we want to do is check and make sure we don't have to drill any holes uh, or enlarge any holes and then fit through there like cream corn they're actually small for the hole but that's okay we can uh, we can make do all right so we need two of these so let me get two out right now and these are 500k pots too I wanted to add uh, right there these are audio 500k's okay and there you go there's the push pull which when you pull up on the the uh, switch it engages the two middle posts and the two upper posts when you close it back down it's the two middle posts and the two bottom posts okay that's why they call it push pull and this is just your regular potentiometer from here up okay um, all right so let's get those in and uh, that way if they're in there it'll be something to kind of hold on to them for me while I'm soldering them too uh, that can be uh, frustrating sometimes when you're trying to solder something in and you only have two hands and you need three so sometimes I will uh, mount the pots in the uh, guitar first and uh, like I said, it just helps helps to have something holding on to them while I'm uh, putting the solder and the wires in there. Bear with me, folks. I just dropped some of the uh, hardware on the floor. I had to pick it back up. So, okay. Well, <clears throat> let's get right to it. I'm going to put one right here. I guess the other one was already in the guitar. And eventually I'll probably remove these uh, and add some, some uh, tooth washers underneath to help hold it. And also uh, I may have to add a second nut just so I can adjust the height of these uh, switches and pots so they look the same height as the tone in the back and uh, it's not a big deal but at least like I said they'll be in here where it's an almost an extra pair of hands holding on to it I don't have any issues soldering these in place so uh, not a big deal for me if it's tough for you or I've never done it you may not want to put them in the guitar because it is kind of tight quarters okay but 
I don't mind it. I can deal with it, I guess. So the next thing we want to do is this, folks. We want to flip this over. I'm just going to kind of tuck some of these wires in there as best I can. What I'm really after is this. I want to see if the parts are going to hit. And I think we're going to be good. I just got a big ball of wire here I need to get under there. Oh, yeah, we're all set. Something to check, though, because they're quite a bit taller than a regular pot. And some cavities may not uh, be uh, routed out to the right depth to accept something like that. So once they're in there, there we go. Uh, I'm still going to leave the three-way switch. So what we'll end up having is, uh, in this position, you will have the uh, neck pickup on. Middle position, we'll have both. Bridge position, we'll have the bridge. Then what we're going to have is, depending on which uh, one of these I hook up to the bridge, uh, more than likely it'll probably be this one. I'll get to that later, but so if the switch is back in the bridge position, we'll have a full humbucker, which is both coils. And when I pull up on the switch, it'll split this to one or the other. Okay. And when I push it back down, it engages both coils again. So same thing up here. If this uh, part is wired to the to the neck pickup when I pick up on that it will split this in half when I push it back down it'll be a humbucker again <clears throat> and so forth so when we're in the middle position we can split both we can split one we can split the other and not that one uh, we have a lot more options here so at the end of the day that's a really cool mod it's not invasive I haven't drilled any holes in this not that I'm against that but you know I understand if you have a you know a factory built USA Strat or something or a Les Paul and you don't want to drill holes in it I have guitars that I feel the same way about uh, you know I want it to look nice and not like a hack job either so I like the push pulls, they work really well. They seem to be of good quality and the pots last quite a while. They don't feel like cheap potentiometers, they're nice and snug and they have a good feel to them, like a good pot should feel. Okay folks, so that's gonna be part one on this. And uh, we gotta get out some, some uh, wire strip is and a few other things and get the solder and iron out for the next video uh, but the next video I'm gonna walk you through the wiring how I'm gonna do it and I'll draw out a schematic you guys can look at it screenshot it uh, hang it on the wall whatever you'd like to do with it but uh, I'm gonna at least provide the information for you guys and walk you through it and uh, that way, if you want to try something like this on your own guitar, uh, I think you'd pre probably be all right. It's mostly uh, just understanding what the switches do and how they work. Once you get that in mind, it's really not that difficult. And the only other thing left is knowing how to solder. If you don't know how to solder, I already have a video up on it. Uh, so you can check through my videos. It's really simple and uh, something that you probably ought to know if you're going to, you know, collect guitars or own guitars or whatever, unless you have somebody that that you really trust to do work on your instruments. Uh, any case, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the views and welcome to all the new subscribers. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And we should be uh, doing a sound test on this one tomorrow as well. Okie doke, guys. Be good. See you later.